So this is what I'm going to be thinking about for the rest of the day. I missed my chance. Done. Finished. The shuttle program is a wrap. And my chance, and it was a real chance to go on it, is now officially gone. Maybe that's not an appropriate headline this morning, the last day of the last mission of the shuttle program. It's not about me, really, but let me tell you a story. Back in 1985, NASA organized a journalist in space program, it was called. Reporters were told to apply, and a selection committee from around the nation would narrow the applicants, first to semifinalists, then finalists, and a few, we were told, would be selected to train for an actual mission that we were told would probably include CBS's Walter Cronkite. He was kind of the media mascot for the entire NASA program, having been an anchorman for CBS since the first Mercury missions. But hey, Cronkite could come? Sure. Even if there was no chance or we'd have to go with Cronkite, whatever the chances, go for it. So I applied. So did thousands of journalists. And in the first cut, Peter Jennings, Lynn Schur from ABC News, who sometimes hosts this program, Tom Brokaw, Geraldo Rivera and me all made it through, about 100 people in total. So did a guy by the name of Scott Pelley, then a reporter in Texas who today holds Walter Cronkite's old job of CBS Evening News anchor. Also, Mark Bowden of the Philadelphia Inquirer, who would go on to fame to write that book Black Hawk Down about Somalia more than a decade later. Really good company, don't you think? But the next cut was rough, from 100 names down to about 40. Bowden, Pelly and Geraldo were out. You know, I was not looking forward to training with Geraldo, so I was a little relieved there. But to my amazement, I hung in there. So did a science writer by the name of Timothy Ferris. The New York Times writer John Noble Wilford made it, as well as physicist Marcia Bartusiak and a smart young fellow by the name of Roger Rosenblatt, then at Time magazine. We all made the cut only to witness the 1986 Challenger disaster that after a while ended the program officially. There was always hope, though. I was really looking forward to ditching my wheelchair and checking out weightlessness for real. Professor Stephen Hawking actually got to do that a few years ago, but now my only way onto a shuttle is a cab ride up the West Side Highway here in Manhattan to the Intrepid Museum where one of the shuttles will apparently be on display. So I outlived the shuttle program. I outlived Walter Cronkite and Peter Jennings, sadly. Maybe my kids will get to go to Mars bittersweet moment this this morning the end of the space shuttle program i am a journalist just not in space have a nice day